have a look at now at our most widely used one, which is a Keras matrix visual. And here we have a, a completely new visual. So we still have the, the, the classic um, visual, which is uh, called a Keras matrix. And then we have the Gen 2 version of that visual as well. And, and there's some major differences now. The key one is that in the previous version of the visual, we calculated rollups, we aggregated them. And when you used uh, DAX measures, they were displayed correctly on the base level, but with the rollup, they were aggregated. And this is obviously not necessarily something that uh, you need all the times, often you want to see the correctly calculated DAX totals. And this is now what's possible here as well. So in the new uh, Gen 2 visual, you have now the option in the values calculation to set how you want to treat your measures. So in my case, I have two, I have a month and I have sales prior year. And we can see they're both at, at sum. But uh, if I want to use, and let's, you know, use a real life example. If I put here, for example, now a DAX calculation, let's take the, the forecasting accuracy and put that into the visual as well. So now I have a third uh, measure here, and that's a DAX measure that calculates the forecast accuracy. So it compares um, the forecast a budget of um, the previous year to the actual outcome. So it, it's a measure of, you know, how accurate was our forecast in the previous period. And it gives you a bit of an idea for the new period as well, how um, optimistic you should view a situation. And so at, at the moment you can see we've got massive numbers here because the default um, roll up is some, but if we change this now to using the DAX calculation, we will see we get to a reasonable um, percentage amount here. And we can see now there's one other issue. So we see this is now all zero. To use this DAX um, roll up, we have to turn on another thing. So and this is in subtotals and Fetch subtotals means fetch the DAX subtotals. So if you want to use that one, you have to turn this one on. So these wouldn't go without each other. And once we do this, you can see now it gets recalculated. We will get the correct um, DAX totals here. Now we see if we've got proper numbers here and not, and not the, uh, the default uh, sum aggregation. The other new thing is now that uh, in addition to the uh, normal, quite powerful conditional formatting features where you can set, you know, your own conditions using the val uh, variable approach where you have really un unlimited um, options to set your conditional formatting or setting of the uh, conditional formatting rules. Um, you also now have the option to do this by level. So previously this was a, uh, you know, one for all. So you can see now, um, all the measures and the GT is for grand totals. So this means if you have, um, totals here, you can set different conditional formatting rules to the base level ones that you set up here in the conditional formatting. So another great new feature. One thing that's very important with the new Gen 2 matrix is that it, the setup is now different. What we don't have anymore is we don't have a filter section anymore with the new visual, but you know, you put now every dimension detail that you want to use in the matrix and typically you need all dimensions of, of the cube. So to, to handle entry on aggregated levels properly. If, if you're missing out a dimension, the system will assume uh, this is a, a splash on every single element in that dimension, which is not necessarily what you want. So make sure you, you add all dimensions of your cube or model here. So you can see in my case, I have the sales model and I have date as a dimension, product, sales, measure, sales reps and scenarios. So all of these have to be individual. 
And then, of course, in, you don't want to necessarily use all those in your drill down pass. So what you can do now when you've put them into your rows, and you can see this is now called the rows and filters. So the filters are now set up here. You have to then specify in the visual that some of these are not actually navigation path, but they are filters. And you do this by going into the visual properties, going into field UI, and you can see now for every field that you've put in the visual, you have now a new option here, filter on. And what filter on means is that this dimension element, for example, the sales measure name, is not considered a drill down path, but is a filter. So in this case, you just do this. I mean, you set this up. So it's the sales rep name would be now a filter. I want to use the sales measure name as a filter. I want to use the scenario as a filter. And so these are typically the ones that you, you have here. So these are the filters that filter the visual and these are then the uh, dimension elements that you also want to use as a filter in the visual. So when you do now the drill down pass, you see the drill down pass only goes from product group to product and not uh, including you know the scenario, the sales rep and the sales measures because I've marked them as a filter. So a very important thing to keep in mind when you're using the new Gen 2 version of the video.